in introduction to the database now we can store the information or to organize the information we use the database system in this case when database is used to store the information or to organize an enterprise database is shared collection of interrelated data which is designed to fulfill the information needs now we discuss all these points in the last lecture also now we can just overview that particular things here we can show some uh, short definitions that is in short we can consider database is nothing but collection of the data corresponding properties of the database can also be given here database represents some aspects of the real world uh, sometimes called as the mini world change to the real world are reflected in the corresponding database if any changes can happens in the real world situation the corresponding changes will be done uh, in the database also now database is logically collection of data with some meanings uh, that is with, it has some a particular meaning to the corresponding information we store the interrelated information into the given database okay now next thing we can consider uh, that is uh, database definition of the databases we can define the database in three uh, different ways that is database is organized collection of data from which user can efficiently retrieve the desired information database can uh, in uh, another words we can consider second definition database can be defined as a collection of interrelated data or uh, some other words we can say the database uh, can be defined as a collection of logically related data stored together that is designed to meet the information requirement of an organization okay these are some definitions it can be or we need to define the database then we can use any one of the definition now the meaning of all these three definitions are related to that of the data that is interrelated data logically related uh, data in the sense that is we consider the information of student uh, student information is logically interrelated roll number corresponding student name and corresponding contact number corresponding percentage all these things are related to the single student okay that is the related information logically interrelated information can be stored into the single file into the single table uh, then we can use or we can say that is the database now next thing is nothing but components of the database here we can have some components uh, in that case we can consider uh, that components are nothing but the data item what is the data item or uh, how data item can be uh, used or how data item uh, can be considered in which way we can consider that particular data items that is uh, we can consider it is a distinct piece of information and is explained in uh, previous section also we can consider this data item uh, that is nothing but our uh, we consider as a small uh, piece of code uh, in another word we can say that name of the student that is the data item roll number of the student it is also one of the data item then we consider percentage of the corresponding student it is also one of the data item we consider the collection of these data items this is the piece of information corresponding to the given object object in the sense that is we can say uh, that is uh, we have some properties to that corresponding object we can have some uh, representations uh, or some functionalities corresponding to that of the objects okay that is nothing but the data items now next thing is nothing but uh, relationships represent relationship between the data items relationship in the sense we can uh, consider uh, representation uh, or we represent a correspondence between various data elements data elements we can consider uh, suppose a student it is one of the data member okay or it is one of the object and corresponding data element should be represented in that particular uh, student or we can say data item which is a collection of small pieces okay we consider student as a data item then second thing we consider college is another data item okay we add the corresponding information into that uh, data items me jar student la consider kela tar student cha corresponding che che items astil tar te item madhe student name ala roll number ala percentage ala tacha contact address ala ha sagla information ta student cha related asnare if i want consider college okay college it is one of the data uh, element or one of the uh, particular object okay we consider the corresponding properties of the college that is name of the college address contact information of the college and we need to combine these two things we need to interrelate these two data elements that is first one student which relates to the college matlab tumcha ani college cha relationship ka hai that is you can take the admission in the college 
that's why you are related to that of the college that is nothing but the relationship we can manage this relationship with the help of a database that is we can store the college information in separate table we can store the uh, student information in the separate table but we can interlate these two things we can interlate these two data atoms data elements into a particular relationship representing a particular relationship now in this case we can add some information of student into the college table or we can add some uh, information or a particular field of a college information in a college table to the student information okay now here we can consider we can add uh, that is we can consider uh, the roll number and we can consider the college name of the student then our college table and student table can manage into that particular database okay they can interlate uh, with each other now next thing is nothing but the constraint what is the constraint constraint in the sense that is uh, it predict it pre uh, it, uh, constraints are nothing but the predicates that define the correct database states that is the uh, unique constraint not null constraints these are the constraints primary key constraint that is to identify the record uniquely these are type of the constraints next thing is nothing but the schema describe the organization uh, of data and relationship within the database okay we represent the table structure of the data that is nothing but the schema combination of uh, multiple tables into the single database that is called as the schema of that particular in, uh, organization okay these are also some of the concept now next thing uh, we can start today that is the introduction to the database management system what is the database management system and how it is uh, managed how it is implemented now in this case here we can consider the database management system is a software system that allows the user to define manipulate and process the data in the database in order to pr uh, produce the meaningful information okay now it is the most important part or most important point corresponding to that of the database management system database management system it is a particular software which manage the database okay it manage the information that's why we call it as the database management system this software system can allows to define the database okay it allows to manipulate the database it allows to process the data in case of the database that's why we can get the meaningful information or we can produce the meaningful information from the given data मीनिंगफुल इन्फॉर्मेशन प्रोड्यूस कराई मीनिंगफुल इन्फॉर्मेशन जनरेट कर स्टूडेंट ऐसी करस्पॉन्डिंग जर तुम्हारा इन्फॉर्मेशन पाजे देन द स्टूडेंट इन्फॉर्मेशन स्टोर्ड इन डिफरंट टेबल्स एक स्टूडेंट ऐसी इन्फॉर्मेशन कॉन्टैक्ट डिटेल वेग टेबल मे गले स्टूडेंट से पर्सनल इन्फॉर्मेशन वेग टेबल मे गले स्टूडेंट से क्वालिफिकेशन डिटेल्स वेग टेबल मे गले नाउ वी कैन कंबाइन ऑल दीज थ्री थिंग्स थ्री टेबल्स इन टू अ सींगल वन and we can get the particular information the proper information that is from uh, student personal information we get the student name from contact information we get the uh, mobile number and from the qualification detail we can get the percentage from that particular uh, table that is we get uh, these three things so that is the meaningful information can be captured and this process is allowed by that of the database management system now in another word we can called or we can define the database management system the software system that allows the user to define to create to maintain and control access to the particular database okay tumhala database define karaycha hai to database create karaycha hai definition nantar tachi creation garjecha hai create hona garjecha hai tala maintain karaycha mhanje thodkya tithe information store karaychi tithe information retrieve karaychi tithe information update karaychi okay that is nothing but the maintenance of that particular database and to control the access who can access the database that is these processings or these operations can provide with the help of a particular software system and that software system is called as the database management system okay now in this case here we can uh, define some basic functions of the database management system that is first of all we store the data in the database okay database here we can consider database in the sense that is we can uh, represent here some tables some information okay now we can consider the example uh, actually database manje kay he jar tumhala lakshat gaycha asel tar tumcha ghare tumche ek rack asel suppose okay ek kapat ahe ani tya kapata madhe tumhi vegvegle columns karun thevlele ahet barobar ata pratyek column madhe tya tya type cha material tumhi kay karta store karat chalta okay all these columns or all these uh, racks 
in that particular cupboard is nothing but a particular table okay tya tya suppose book sathi ek kappa tumhi tya kapad cha thevlelo asel dusra kappa madhe tumhi kay kele tumche sagle clothes thevlelo asel tisra kappa madhe tumhi sagle tumche educational documents thevlelo asel ani chautha jo kappa ahe tithe tumche itar kai material asel itar kai information related document documents asel kiwa itar kai data asel to tumhi kay kele safely shevatcha kappa madhe thevlela ahe मग आता इथे काय झालं मी जर बुक्स कन्सिडर केले तर बुक्स इट इज वन ऑफ द कबर्ड अँड इन दॅट बुक्स वी कॅन यूज ऑर वी कॅन इन्सर्ट डिफरंट टाइप्स ऑफ बुक्स दॅट इज वी कॅन हॅव डिफरंट बुक्स इन दॅट पर्टिक्युलर कबर्ड ओके त्या कप्प्यामध्ये तुमचे वेगवेगळे पुस्तकं आहेत त्याची इन्फॉर्मेशन तुमच्याकडे आहे दॅट इज दन टेबल वी कॅन स्टोअर सच अ इन्फॉर्मेशन डिफरंट टाइप्स ऑफ ऑर रिलेटेड इन्फॉर्मेशन इन टू अ सिंगल टेबल दॅट कॉम्बिनेशन ऑर कलेक्शन ऑफ सच अ डिफरंट इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑर इंटरलेटेड इन्फॉर्मेशन इन टू द डिफरंट टेबल्स अँड ऑल दीज टेबल्स कंबाइंडली वी कन्सिडर द डेटाबेस ओके त्याला आपण काय म्हणतो डेटाबेस म्हणत असतो नाव टू ऑर्गनाइज द पर्टिक्युलर डेटा इट इज द मेन फंक्शन ऑफ द डेटाबेस मॅनेजमेंट सिस्टीम देन टू कंट्रोल ऍक्सेस ऑफ द डेटा मी तुम्हाला आता सांगितलं की तो डेटा कुणी ऍक्सेस करायचा ते कपाट कुणाला उघडण्याची परमिशन आहे बरोबर तुमचं पर्सनल कपड आहे तुम्ही वैयक्तिक स्वतः उघडू शकता किंवा इतर तुमच्या नातेवाईक मध्ये समजा आई असेल वडील असेल भाऊ असेल यांना तुम्ही त्यांना ती परमिशन दिलेली आहे ते कपाट उघडण्याची थर्ड पार्टी किंवा तुमच्या घराबाहेरच्या व्यक्ती जर कोणी आला तर तो ते ऍक्सेस करू शकत नाही दॅट इज द कंट्रोलिंग टू द ऍक्सेस ऑफ दॅट पर्टिक्युलर डेटा ओके दॅट इज नथिंग बट द कंट्रोल ऍक्सेस ऑफ द डेटा नाव नेक्स्ट थिंग टू प्रोटेक्ट द डेटा डेटा प्रोटेक्ट करायचं म्हणजे काय दॅट इज टू प्रोवाइड द सिक्युरिटी टू युअर डेटा वी कॅन हॅव अ लॉक की टू युअर कबर्ड तुमच्या कपाटाला काय तुमच्याकडे एक लॉकर आहे लॉक लॉक करण्याची त्याला फॅसिलिटी आहे तुमच्याकडे ती की आहे मग ती की कुणाकडे असणार आहे ज्यांना त्या कबर्डचा ऍक्सेस आहे त्यांच्याकडेच तुम्ही ती की देणार बरोबर एक तुमच्याकडे असेल आणि दुसऱ्या कीज तुमच्या घर घरामधल्या ज्यांना ज्यांना ते कपाट उघडण्याची परमिशन तुम्ही दिली त्यांच्याकडे ती की त्या ठिकाणी काय असणार आहे अवेलेबल असणार आहे तुमच्या घरी एखादा थर्ड पर्सन आला बाहेरचे एखादी व्यक्ती आली ते कबाट उघडायला गेला विदाउट की दॅट कबर्ड शुड नॉट ओपन दॅट इज नथिंग बट द सिक्युरिटी टू युअर डेटा यू कॅन प्रोव्हाइड द सिक्युरिटी विथ द हेल्प ऑफ दॅट पर्टिक्युलर की टू युअर डेटा दॅट इज द डेटा प्रोटेक्शन अँड धीस डेटा प्रोटेक्शन कॅन बी Uh, provided with the help of this database management system to your data aplya data la ji security provide hoil ti ya database management system kadna kay kele jate provide kele jate now here we can consider that is the database management system is a general purpose software that is general purpose software in the sense in a uh, first chapter or in a uh, first paper we can see what is the uh, types of the software that is we can have the application software we can have uh, system software we can have special purpose software we can have general purpose softwares now what is that general purpose software that is we can combine more than one functionality into the single software system that is called as the general purpose software general purpose manjes kay ala tumhi ekach type cha eka single software madhe vegvegya type cha facility jeva tumhi deta now we can see here storing cap, uh, storing facility dili database ni ओके डेटा ऑर्गनाइज मॅनेज करण्याची फॅसिलिटी दिलेली आहे दुसरी फॅसिलिटी डेटा ऍक्सेस कंट्रोलची फॅसिलिटी त्या ठिकाणी डेटाबेस सिस्टीम कडे आहे त्यानंतर डेटा प्रोटेक्शन म्हणजे सिक्युरिटीची एक फॅसिलिटी त्यामध्ये दिली ना वी कॅन हॅव कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ ऑल सच अ फोर फंक्शनॅलिटीज ऑर फॅसिलिटीज गिव्हन इन टू द सिंगल सॉफ्टवेअर सिस्टीम दॅट्स वाय वी कॉल इट ॲज अ जनरल पर्पज सॉफ्टवेअर धिस इज द जनरल थिंग जर आपण म्हटलं असतं फक्त डेटा स्टोअर करता येतो दॅट इज द स्पेशल पर्पज दॅट इज स्पेशली फॉर डेटा स्टोरेज specially for organizing the data special for controlling access special for protecting the data we can provide such a different software to the special purpose that is the special purpose software fakt a specific task handle karaycha asel tar tela apan special purpose manto ani general we can combine more than one functionality into the single software we call them as a general purpose software system okay now here dbms is also one of the general purpose software system because it provides more than one functionality at a time in a single software in a single uh, database management system that's why we call it as a general purpose software system the facility can uh, processing of a uh, uh, process of defining constructing and manipulating the database for the various applications ela general purpose ka mantle mi tumhala je atta sangitle ki तुम्हाला डेटा प्रोसेस करता येतो डिफाईन करता येतो कन्स्ट्रक्ट करता येतो किंवा तो मॅनेज करता येतो अशा वेगवेगळ्या फंक्शनॅलिटीज वेगवेगळ्या ऍप्लिकेशनच्या करस्पॉन्डिंग त्या फंक्शनॅलिटीज आपल्याला प्रोव्हाइड केल्या जातात दॅट इज वी कॅन युज डिफरंट टाइप्स ऑफ ऍप्लिकेशन्स विथ द हेल्प विथ 
करस्पॉन्डिंग टू दैट ऑफ द सींगल डेटाबेस मैनेजमेंट सीस्टीम अपन एक डेटाबेस मैनेजमेंट सीस्टीम यूज कर वेगवेगे एप्लिकेशन वेगवेगे इन्फॉर्मेशन वेगे डेटा करू शो तुम्हारे कंप्यूटर सीस्टीम मे हेडल करू शो कि मैनेज करू शो नाउ हियर डिफाइनिंग इन द सेंस दैट इज वी कैन कन्सिडर डिफाइनिंग फैसिलिटी का प्रोवाइड करते दैट इज इट इन्वॉल्व स्पेसिफाइंग द डेटा टाइप्स दैट इज ईच डेटा हैव अ डेटा टाइप डेटा टाइप मे कुछ टाइप का डेटा तो कैरेक्टर डेटा ओके न्यूमेरिक डेटा फ्लोटिंग पॉइंट डेटा कैरेक्टर डेटा मे हिते जे तुम्हारा स्ट्रिंग दिता है सग कैरेक्टर फॉर्मैट मे इन्फॉर्मेशन है ओके दैट इज अ कैरेक्टर डेटा स्टूडेंट नेम इट इज अ कैरेक्टर टाइप डेटा देन स्टूडेंट रोल नंबर विट इज अमेरिक वैल्यू रोल नंबर कैन बी गिवन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ नंबर्स डिजिट्स ओके दैट इज अमेरिक वैल्यू वी कैन यूज इंटीजर आर नंबर एज अ डेटा टाइप फॉर दैट पर्टिक्युलर इन्फॉर्मेशन नाउ वी कैन यूज corresponding uh, percentage which is the floating point we can have the fractional values okay 60.50 kiwa uh, 68.53 this is the fractional information and the corresponding data type should be provided as a double or floating or float like this this is nothing but the data types which type of information can be stored that is nothing but uh, specification or uh, data definition or defining of the database can show the data types structure of the data in which structure that data should be maintained table structure is required or text or uh, file structure is required that structure should be considered and the constraint for the data to be stored in the database constraint in the sense we can apply unique constraints we can apply null constraints we can apply uh, some check constraints or that particular database we discuss all these types of constraint in details in next chapter okay uh, this is the complete detail can be given in next chapter also the next thing is nothing but constructing constructing means to construct the data definition zali definition zale nanter database construct karava lagto now it is a process of storing data itself on some storage medium that is nothing but controlled by the database management system we can use the storage medium as a secondary disk which data you want to add or you inserted into the database it is stored on the secondary disk and that secondary disk is controlled by or that uh, storage medium is controlled by that database management system that is those information stored into the data uh, stored into that particular storage medium which medium is controlled by the database management system okay management or manipulating can includes uh, it is a it includes such a functions as querying the database to retrieve uh, to retrieve the specific data updating the data or generating the reports okay manipulation karaycha manje kay karaycha ek aplyala suppose mala एका स्टूडेंट रोल नंबर फोर है ओके आई वॉन्ट टू एक्सेस द रेकॉर्ड ऑफ रोल नंबर फोर ओके आई नीड टू राइट द क्वेरी क्वेरी इन देंस हा मजा क्वेश्चन है दैट इज अवर क्वेश्चन इज नथिंग बट युअर क्वेरी बहुत तुम्हारा बरस वे विचार कुछ क्वेरी अल तो संगा दैट इज युअर क्वेश्चन दैट इज युअर ओपिनियन वी नीड टू गेट फ्रॉम द डेटा बेस ओके माइ क्वेश्चन इज वॉट दैट इज टू एक्सेस और वॉट इज द नेम ऑफ student whose roll number is 4 this is the question this is the query now we can write that particular query in specific format we can have different types of format we can have different types of languages can be used to write that type of queries uh, according to that query the result will be displayed that is nothing but the manipulation of that particular data manipulation of that particular information tumhala ti information update pan karta yete ti information retrieve karaychi manje mi atta jasa question sangitla tyanusar tumhala query ti 